from JVN. We reopened Dunes. Oh, that one. What do we got? Carcinogen potential. <laughs> Starting off the vlog with a little haul. I just got a package in from JVN, which is the person on Queer Eye. I use their shampoo. It's so good. I've shown it in a vlog. I got it at Sephora. It's in like a blue bottle and it's good for like volume and like finer thin hair, but love it. And they reached out and wanted me to be on the PR list, which is so weird and crazy, but cool. I wanna show you everything that they sent because I think it's all gonna be really good. First, we have this Nurture Deep Moisture Mask, like in this really cute purple. It's all aluminum packaging and all of their stuff is recyclable. So love that. This one is once a week apply instead of a regular conditioner, powerful ingredients deliver healing for hair that does the most. Next, we have Instant Recovery Serum. It's cute, it's kind of like our candle jars. Mm. It smells, I don't know, kind of like a hair salon. Really mild, but still good. Distribute through damp hair to protect against heat damage. Hair will look and feel so silky serene. You'll ask for its meditation secrets. We love that. This one's a really cool concept. It's the Air Dry Cream. And I read about this on their website. You put it in your hair when you want to let it hair dry, which I let my hair air dry every single day. <laughs> Work desired amount through any kind of hair to add buildable, touchable hold that lets your natural textures shine. So I assume this will be good with frizz and stuff because when you let your hair air dry sometimes, well mine does at least, sometimes it gets frizzy. Final thing is this bottle of nourishing shine drops. I already opened this one up because I wanted to know what it looked like. Is that not so cute? I love it. So this one is apply to dried hair. This silky silicone free oil instantly adds incredible gloss without adding weight. I think we'll do the deep moisture mask tonight and I'll let you guys know how it goes. Don't mind the tulips. I need to switch those out for some fresh ones, but I just read for a little bit on the deck and I came in and Ty was sick. So I cleaned that, which honestly kind of worries me because he's not the kind of dog that gets sick a lot. So I don't know why he was feeling bad, but he just ate. I gave him some rice and then I gave him his food after. So I'm hoping he feels okay because he ate it right down. So I don't know. We'll see. I'm gonna shower now and try out my new little moisture mask, the JVN one. Okay, I dried my hair so I could see what the moisture mask like made it feel like. And it's so soft. I used that day hair mask, but I didn't really feel that much of a difference. But this one like, whoa. I wanted to show you my outfit today because I feel like she's cute and I didn't do a studio day like I didn't have to make candles or anything so I always like to dress up a little bit but I'm wearing the Aritzia Divinity Romper but I'm pretty sure it's pre-ordering for October or something crazy like that now and then this H&M button up I'm wearing glasses today which I haven't really worn my glasses very much since I got them but today I was just doing computer work and I was sending out emails to influencers because we're gonna launch our summer collection pretty soon and we're kind of doing more influencer gifting. So that was kind of fun. Like I like doing that, going through the people that everyone mentioned and like picking out people. I don't know. It's just a different change up from making candles. So that was good. And now it's around two o'clock. I'm done the influencer stuff and I think I'm gonna go get a Starbucks and do a return that I have. Hi, can I just get a tall chocolate cream cold brew please? Of course, not for everything. Yeah, that's everything. I hate to admit it, guys, but I'm low-key addicted to the chocolate cream cold brew. Yeah. Thank you so much. Have a great one. You too. Yay. Happy Friday. Yesterday turned into a crazy day. If you follow me on TikTok, you'll know what happened. But essentially, we reopened dunes for the afternoon. It all happened within two hours. I was talking on TikTok about how I used to have a boutique and I have a bunch of inventory left and everyone wanted to see it. So I opened it back up, sold a bunch of stuff, which I feel really good about because I've had it sitting here since September, August. I have a bunch of stuff and I just didn't have time to do dunes so I shut it down. But yeah, I'm so happy I got rid of stuff. So thank you if you ordered anything. But since doing that, I feel so motivated and like I want to bring dunes back to life. 
what do you think i'm thinking it would be less of a boutique and more like a brand so more dunes branded things like crew neck sweatshirts that kind of vibe but if you have any suggestions or what you kind of like, please comment them below. So today, I've been working on my computer a lot. I edited my most recent vlog. I'm getting that up. And then I'm trying to get a bunch of stuff done before we leave to go to the trailer again this weekend. I think I'm going to make a little decaf coffee here now. And then start cleaning the closet room. Guys, my closet room. I don't even think I can show you because it's so embarrassing. Okay, I'm going to tackle the closet room i'm just gonna get it over with and i'm gonna feel better what i'm gonna do is put all the winter stuff in this basket and then i can deal with that later but i just need to get it out of here like look this is horrible but those are all winter like there's just a lot of winter things that need to just get out of my life then i'm partially packed partially unpacked from last week it's just not organized and it stresses me out so we're gonna fix that made it down to the trailer it's actually pretty early for us it's only seven o'clock usually we leave around six but we left five ish 5 30 today so that's really nice but i'm just in here i'm making the bed if there's one thing that's hard about a trailer it's making the bed it's so hard to like get up in those corners but i'm making it work and we also brought down our last hello fresh meal for the week to make here so Matthias just went over to the house to make that, but I'm so hungry, like teetering on the edge of hangry. So I'm just gonna make this and then go down, finish up supper with him and hopefully eat quickly. Okay, bed is made. Does that not look so cozy? I'm very excited to get in bed tonight. <laughs> Last night I got woken up at 3 a.m. from something outside and I couldn't get back to sleep again until four. So I was up for an hour and I feel like if I get my sleep, interrupted like that i'm just so tired for the whole next day like i need that full eight hours but i'm just going to unpack my bag i'll show you guys what i do recently here i've been taking everything out of my suitcase and putting it on the bunk because then i can see everything and i can see what i brought so i know what to wear but this weekend's not gonna be nice i don't think well it's supposed to be nice on sunday but tomorrow's supposed to rain all day which kind of sucks i wish it was the other way around we're gonna make the most of it we're having my stepdad's retirement party tomorrow afternoon or tomorrow evening i guess so that will be fun and tomorrow in the day I think I'm just gonna go hang out with my mom. So all I've been doing is laying out all of my stuff. So back there is all my warm things. So for like Sunday morning dog walk and Sunday morning outfits, obviously I bring multiple options. I have like more dog walk things like leggings, <laughs> handbagger shirts. And then this is what I think I'm gonna wear tomorrow or I'm gonna wear, I have this stripy shirt that I left here. I bring one sweatsuit usually and then these clothes are for tomorrow. I, I don't know what I'm gonna wear, either like this sweater or this shirt. I always bring a lot of extra because I'm one of those people who changes their outfit up to three times a day. <laughs> I don't know why, I just need, I need to change it up sometimes. This weekend I also was just like extra on my game and I brought down my iron supplements that i started taking this is only going to be my second time taking it i take the iron pill right after i eat supper but then i also have my vitamin c tablet with it because you need the vitamin c to break down and help absorb the iron and i don't know if that's going to stop constipation but we're good so far but i only tried it once so hello freshy oh the mashed potatoes look good thanks to elizabeth with a side of broccoli my favorite supper was good I'm walking to the trailer now. This is my journey. I walk through the woods. We are now headed down to my brother-in-law's to visit. No, you didn't do this. Visit to Rose Bay. The trailer was bad news. It cannot be fixed. Look at her. What a sin. So we're picking it up to drive it back. Down low so he doesn't jump. 
Down low. Down low. Get down. What are you doing? <laughs> so they're true. Shh. I'm only use this one. It's, not, it's a dark. Andy picked up these at the market. It's a new, new distillery. Do you think? Yeah, new just dist distillery. <laughs> <laughs> a new distillery. New distillery. <laughs> Out of an apple shroyle. <laughs> and they tried the root beer one. Oh, it's sticky. The root beer moonshine. And we're going to try a little bit of the strawberry rhubarb. I think their packaging's cute. They have a lot of different ones. I smell that root beer. Bark the moon, honey. Gives Bark me the, the chills. Moon. You like that, wouldn't you? Fundy gin. Moon, molasses moonshine. Three sheets to the wind moonshine. That's funny. Night owl. So night owls, what do you mix night owl with? Coffee. Ooh, apple pie. Yeah. That one's 40%. Oh, that one's 45. 40. What's this one? 20. Spice okay. moonshine, 45. Just have a little teeny bit. Brittany has a sip. I'm driving. Okay. Oh my god. We're just having to taste. You want to just lick the cap. That's what I would. The cap's a little. <laughs> Wait, is that too much for you? I'm going to do it. Put it down. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Not that one. Oh, yeah. It's our 19th birthday. <laughs> <that> communion wine. <laughs> Lobster <laughs> sandwich, baby. Shamey so McShamerton. Right. No, That's you want that. But Come here. Hi. Like Getting ready. We're going to my stepdad's retirement get together. So I did my makeup. How's it look? I'm just going to do my hair. This is what I was gonna wear, but I feel like I don't like it. That's the thing about packing for the trailer. I change my mind a lot about what I want to wear. And then when I get down here, I wish I brought something else, but guess what? You can't do anything about it. So, um, I think I'm just gonna wear my gray skims long sleeve instead because, I don't know, I'm just not feeling the stripes today, so... I feel like that's a little bit more dressed up, but it was literally pouring rain the entire day. It's finally looking like it's brightening up, so that's kind of nice. Maybe we can have a bonfire or something tonight. We're all supposed to be super hot out, so I'm excited for that. Oh, and if you didn't know, I stepped on my straightener and smashed it few weeks ago and I got this new one from Chi. It was like $70 at Winners and it works perfectly fine. My other one was like two or 300 from like the beauty place. Maritime Beauty is that what it's called? Um, but this one I kind of like more because it has rounded edges so it makes it easier to curl. My other one was flat so it would like kind of grab my ends and not like spin as well, spin as smoothly, I guess. Okay, we're here at Kevin and Petra's. <laughs> She's got the knife, but we're doing Andy's setup for the the retirement. So we're gonna make a cheese board. Mom, oh, I'm gonna do it. Okay. You're gonna do it. This is my second cheese board. <laughs> oh, really nice, Brittany, with the little rind on the end. That yep. Really good. I think the rind's soft enough you can eat it. I don't, I'm not gonna cut it off. Finished product. It looks pretty good if I do say so myself. Mm -hmm. We have all the cheese, little strawberries. I just sliced the apple. It looks cute. Okay, I'm eating out here in the screened in Porsche. Isn't it nice? I want one of these. It's finally sunny today. I'm so happy. It was horribly rainy yesterday. It's better today. We're gonna take the side-by-side -side up to the trailer. Not too sure what the plan is for today, but we're gonna go take Ty for a walk now, and then I kind of want to go to the beach, so maybe we'll go for a walk on the beach, or I'd love to read my book. I don't know if there will be time for that because we're gonna go home tonight, but got this new sunscreen to try. Brand is the Green Beaver Company from Ontario but scanned it and it came up with a good rating. So I have this app to show you guys, it's crazy. It's like kind of a life changer. And it tells you some things that you don't wanna hear, but I'll show you it later today. Okay, I'm just hoping this doesn't leave a 
white cast. It looks pretty white. It's mineral. Oh my gosh, this is the problem with mineral sunscreen, guys. But the other sunscreen is so bad for you. So I feel very conflicted. Like, this looks ridiculous. But I don't want those other chemicals on my face. I think I'm gonna wear my bucket hat today. But, okay, so the brand is called Yuka. Y-U-K-A, I'll put it on the screen. But you can scan everything, and it tells you how like healthy the ingredients are, how good they are for you. And you can scan like deodorant, face product sunscreen food it's crazy but we've done like multiple ones so one thing that i was super disappointed in was my native deodorant like you guys know i did a lot of research on that and paid a lot of money and it's not a good rating it has like bad ingredients which is so frustrating like i feel like companies always greenwash so i'm on the lookout for a new deodorant but I think I'm gonna go around the grocery store and just like scan a bunch of deodorants and I'll let you know which one comes up best. Like I'm gonna have to do more research, but like you scan it and then it gives you, it gives you a rating for the product. So the native deodorant is 47 out of 100 pour. And then it tells you the ingredients that are bad. So you can click on the ingredients and it has one that's a mineral oil, but it's a carcinogen potential. So we all thought we were doing good for our body, but apparently not. And it tells you like what the ingredient is and what the issues are. And you could like click see all and see all the ingredients and it highlights the ones that are bad, but that's super <laughs> disappointing because I thought it was good. And here, let me see. Like Old Spice deodorant, see that? It was good. Is that annoying? But that's a um, aluminum free one, so. I don't know. I'm going to do research and let you guys know. One that I was really sad about was like some things are clear, but okay. See the Neutrogena zinc face mineral sunscreen. It's bad. You would think that's good, right? But no, poor. But the one I bought, 100. This one. So that's really good to know. I'll be using that from now on. Um, maybe they have a tinted one, but one that I kind of already knew, but the Ultra Repair Cream, 45 out of 100, it's just not good. This ingredient, it's an endocrine disruptor, so you guys know I try to stay away from endocrine disruptors because my hormones are already messed up, but this one has it. Some things I think you can use and just know that it's not the best, but things like deodorant and sunscreen, that you like leave on your face and right in your by your lymph nodes i really want to get a good deodorant because that stuff is dangerous but like things like body wash or face wash i feel like aren't as important because you wash them off but yeah i thought i would let you guys know it's a free app you should definitely download it if you're interested in ingredients and stuff like that like me but jeesh we are scanning everything in my mom's little like makeup thing and skincare and hair care but jvn so good so we love that the jvn products i haven't um i haven't scanned all of them but the shampoo and stuff so good so stop at rose bay general store i got a sandwich on gluten free they're so good big you are. You're a really big doggie. 75, 50%. Yeah. What? Marshmallows, I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hi, Bubby. Are you cuddling? Because we did that with ours. Ours we cooked. Yeah we, yeah, we cooked hot dogs and marshmallows on ours. Before. He says, I, I love you. Taste good. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Okay, we are back from the trailer. I showered, we went to Meza for supper, and then we went to Superstore. I picked up some new deodorant because I don't trust Native anymore, and this one scored... 100 out of 100 so I don't know if it'll work or not, but I can keep you guys updated. It smells pretty good and Yeah, I don't know crazy times and then I grabbed some sweet Lauren's to make these are really nice to have If you buy two, it's pretty much like buy one get one free So I always buy two and just leave one in the fridge and I'm also going to I'm gonna add some sea salt on top because that makes it really good and it's just a nice little Sunday night thing to do. 